Hey guys, it's Izzy Show Busy. I'm back with wonderful Stephanie and she's giving us some top tips about where we should be travelling with Air France from Cork Airport. So today, we're talking about a place that has been on my list for a while. I'm going to get there this year. It is Rome. Tell us what we should be doing when we go there. So I have so many tips for Rome. It's a city that's full of culture, history and of course... Pizza! Yeah, and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> so we have loads of tips here. So the first one, when I think of Rome straight away, I think of hiring a, a Vespa, going through the streets, exploring the cobble streets, the side streets. So do as the Romans do, rent one of those and go explore. Mm-hmm. Get lost and you'll find some of those amazing Italian cuisines and the gems off the beaten track. Yes. So the next tip is to visit the Colosseum. So it's the largest amphitheatre in the Roman Empire and it's definitely one for your bucket list, rich in history and definitely one to check out while you're there. The next tip is that, excuse my Italian now, the Piazza Navona. Oh, yes, yes. So it's kind of one of the most popular public spaces. So you've restaurants, shops, ice cream, everything is there. So it's lovely just to stroll through and soak up the atmosphere. The next one, what I love to do when I go abroad is go to kind of the highest point to have a view of the city. Mm-hmm. So here is Gia Cola is the highest point. You go up there, have a look. Um, My favourite time, obviously, if you're an early bird, morning time is probably a lovely time to go there (laughs) but I'm not so what I love to do is go up but just before sunset because you see the views of the city then and you also get to see the sun setting Um, and that's always one of my favorite things no matter where I go the next one is the famous Spanish steps so obviously you can climb them or you can grab a coffee and just sit and enjoy the amazing architecture that sounds easier yeah (laughs) you are on holidays after all (laughs) the next one for nightlife Mm. So this is one that is very popular with the locals. So it's Tessa, Tessa Steo is We'll have it all on Red Extra written <laughs> out so you can actually look it up, the, 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 the spelling and everything. So that's one that's really popular with the locals. Loads of bars, nightclubs. That's where you go for your night out. And of course, you can't go and not go to all the gel- for gelato yes. and all the amazing ice cream shops. And But the oldest one there is... Geolitty, which has been opened since the 1900s and there's so many different ice cream flavors and it's just one that you have to go to and um, it's an experience and then the last one is the trevi fountain so the saying is if you throw a coin in the trevi fountain you're going to come back to rome oh so it's worth a shot <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> Amazing. Okay, thank you so much, Stephanie. And we'll have more next week. And if you want to find out more about your trip to Rome, redextra.ie. Check out our previous videos to find out more destinations you can fly to with Air France from Cork Airport.